Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We are going to take a look at your next seven days. Okay, so this will be time stamped in the description box below. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Welcome. Okay, you can also contact me for a personal reading as well. All right, so we're going to take a look guys. Your next seven days. Oh, and I have uploaded uh, the Zodiacs as well. So you can check that out. All right, so we're going to have three piles. And you can choose. So pile one, your next seven days. Pile two. There we go. Pile three. All right, and actually, let's do... Let's get you to choose a color for your next seven days. All right, let's have a look. All right, so for power one, you've got watermelon. Power two. <clears throat> oh, see that easy? You've got jade. Okay, pile three. You've got aqua. Nice. Oh, lovely colors. Okay, so let's take a look. <clears throat> so we'll start with pile one. All right, and you have watermelon. So this says, have fun with your inner child. So for the next seven days, I feel like they just want you to be smiling, laughing, joking. Okay, maybe there's something from your childhood that you're going to watch. Um or just you're going to listen to some music or maybe you're going to a concert from, you know, a childhood artist that you used to love, whatever it is. OK, they're saying just enjoy your week. OK, and we've got step out of your comfort zone. So that's that youthful childlike energy they need you to have. OK, over the next seven days. That's cool. <laughs> step out of your comfort zone. All right. So let's take a look. seven days yeah we've got air we've got motion so we've got movement we've got libra gemini aquarius energy here as well so yeah they need to, you to move forward with whatever this plan is this thing that you want to do power one look at that speed movement here <laughs> okay get on with it <laughs> all right you guys are clearly have got a gift of some kind and you're not utilizing it or you know you need to kind of Maybe you just got an idea that you want to do something, but you know, you're just kind of slowing yourself down a little bit. So they're saying, look, you know, come on, push forward. This is really cool. This is like a kick up the bum kind of thing. All right, part one. Your next seven days, forbidden. All right, so they want you to stay away from people or things, okay, that are not good for you, all right, that are toxic to you. Okay, part one, they're like, look, don't contact that person, don't let that person in. We've got a message, because there is a message coming, all right? Whew, you know, and also that speed of movement for some of you here is like, you know, you need to really move on. It's time to cut this cord and get the hell on out of here. All right, power one, your next seven days. Got Capricorn energy here as well. All right, let's see, power one. Yeah, we've got four of swords. So you're definitely, you know, you're not with someone at the moment. You're in separation with them. But it's almost like you kind of do know that you're going to hear from them again. All right. But you really want them to put in more time, effort, energy, <clears throat> you know, and we've got justice here. So I kind of feel like you guys are just going to be 
putting an end to this once and for all. All right, because I think you're going to have something else going on in your, you know, maybe this is your professional life or with your hobbies or something with your kids, whatever it is. You're going to be go dealing with that. And then on top of it, you're going to have to take care of this situation. This person does come up as forbidden. Okay, they do. Got Libra here. Someone's definitely stewing over you. Like, I don't know, I feel like they're a bit upset, annoyed. Part one, your next seven days. What's coming up for you? We got temperance. Ten of Wands, and you got Eight of Cups. So yeah, I, I think you're gonna find peace in this situation, all right, and realize that this person just isn't for you. You might also receive maybe a message, not necessarily from them, but you might get a message about them. So maybe something going on in their lives or whatever. And you're just kind of like, okay, look, this is it. You know, I'm not gonna let this situation drive me crazy anymore. I'm releasing this guilt, this burden, whatever it is I'm carrying. And with the Eight of Cups, I'm going to be walking away. Anything else for your next seven days? Power one. Yeah, we've got Queen of Pentacles. You're going to be focusing on home, money, okay, looking good, feeling good, making nice things to eat, looking after yourself. You know, maybe even going out, socializing a little bit or just spending more time with family. All right, you're going to be okay. You're very independent. You're very strong. All right, so we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got Sagittarius. We've got Libra. We've got Capricorn. So, yeah, be prepared for this message that is coming in. Coming in fast, guys. Okay. Part one. The next seven days. We have get more information. All right, so don't just rush into anything over the next seven days. I feel like this is with anything, okay? They want you to take action. They want you to move forward. But maybe you need to do the groundwork, um, research, things like that. Dotting your I's and crossing your T's, okay? Um, yeah, maybe it's legal advice, anything like that. They're just saying, take your time, get the information that you need so that you can proceed in the right way. All right, anything else for power one? Over your next seven days. Yeah, being lighthearted, uh, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, heal, and then you've got the snake. Enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be receiving information about this person that is, yeah, going to make you feel like you're done with them once and for all, guys. Um, it might be a sad time, but I guess it's probably what you need so that you can free yourself because this connection pretty much owns you, you feel like, so... Yeah, I think this is probably like the closure that you guys need. So yeah. All right, so that was pile one. Hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are now gonna move on to pile two. All right, so you guys had jade. It's a beautiful jade color, I love it. All right, you've got take action, okay? <laughs> Looks similar to pile one now. They want you to ground yourself and take action. All right, we've got believe in the impossible. This is the blue moon. All right, I'm guided to this deck here. Let's have a look, see what's going on for the next seven days for pile two. Maybe you're just talking yourself out of something. <laughs> and like, nope. Yeah, we've got ritual here. All right. So you guys, you know, they want you to be manifesting, okay? Maybe there's a group of people that you have around you who believe in the same things as you. 
all right, who can be like your support network, because we've got by the summertime, all right, you're going to get pretty much what it is that you're trying to manifest now. All right, so they're saying, look, this is definitely achievable. And we've got the witch's hat power, yeah. You guys are definitely magicians, witches, spiritual people out here, healers, okay? And I feel like there's definitely something you're trying to achieve. And maybe you are trying to achieve it with a group of people here. All right, but they're saying you need to take action. You've got to move forward with this, all right? Everything you need, you have it, you're talented. This is nice. Okay, let me get this for you. <clears throat> so we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy in this reading. You are full of ideas. All right, they are not silly or unachievable. They're saying believe in the impossible. Focus, look at this. They're saying, look, maybe in the past you've come off, you know, track. Things have happened. Other people's lives have affected your journey. Maybe it's the relationships you've had. But they're saying, look, focus, just like her. Like, nothing's going to throw this off. She is hitting her target. Okay, she will not miss. And that's the kind of tenacity and drive they're asking you for right now. Surround yourself with people, like-minded people who believe in the same things as you do or want to achieve the same things as you do. Yeah, you've got reminder here. So I definitely feel like there's someone in spirit, okay, that probably was your biggest cheerleader, your biggest fan. Maybe, you know, it could even be it's something that was passed down, okay, to you, maybe through your ancestors, whatever this is. Maybe you're having this spiritual awakening as well, you know, in the spiritual realm. Yeah. And we got cycles. And I think you're seeing how all the events in your life, how they come together right now, you know, and how they've brought you to this moment. So maybe it's been like a lot of pain, you know, a lot of complications I'm hearing through your life. But you are really tall, you are strong. Okay, like these trees, you cannot be moved. You might waver from time to time. All right, but now they're saying, come on, you are, roots. You are firmly cemented and rooted. Okay, so you're able to move forward, claim your title and your stability in this universe. You are the universe. All right, pile two. Look at that sorcery, the magician. Wow. You know what it is? Sometimes you just forget your power. You know, you've just been living this human, <laughs> this human life and forgetting where the hell you came from, okay? Kings, queens over here. All right, it's in your bloodline. They're asking you to wake up. Stop focusing on the past, all right? What's been lost? All right, it's done. Okay, there's no point. They need you to move forward. Okay, and I feel like you guys, you know, you have the freedom in order to do this, but they need you to charge at this. Okay, even when you don't have the strength, they know it's difficult, all right? You know, try not to spend too much time inside as well. You know, be outside, be with nature. Okay, your lineage is, is you guys most definitely were healers, all right? Wouldn't surprise me if you're into medicine, you know, with herbs and things like that. All right, you definitely got a king of cups here as well that wants to come towards you over the next seven days, right? <laughs> this cancer buys this Scorpio energy. You know, just as you're getting your power back, basically. Here they come. All right, power two, your next seven days. Ten of Swords. You are over the worst of it, okay? That's what they want you to know. Look at that, six of wands. You're coming out on top. All right, I feel like a, a lot of people are going to be seeing this person for who they really are as well. You know, you might even get some apologies, okay? Or people holding their head in shame when they see you, all right? Because they're realizing now, oh, God, yeah, look what you had to deal with. Oh, we're sorry. We thought this person was great. Da -da 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 -da. You know, that kind of energy I'm getting here. We've got this Ace of Pentacles. We've got a beautiful new start. Opportunity for money. All right, this is your own foundation. Look at that. Inspiration is coming through. But we also got this devil energy here as well. All right, 
So things that have happened in the past, maybe you didn't receive justice for something that happened to you in a past relationship. Don't worry, okay? You will be receiving said justice, okay? That's for sure. All right, and maybe you're feeling like this person's out enjoying themselves with other women or other guys or whatever. Is. They're not, they don't have you, okay? Like I said, you're now realizing your power. They always, they always knew what your power was. They just knew they needed to take it from you, okay? And they did for a short time but you're getting it back, you've got it back, all right? And you got away from them, that's the main thing. This is the last time they will hurt you. All right, so we got Libra, we got Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got um, Taurus energy. Okay, give you these, let's see. And I think your guides are telling you, like, your, your, your mind is becoming clearer now so that you can add this new stuff into it, okay? These new ideas and things that you want to do and actually find ways to implement them. Abundance. Look at that. Heading your way. All right. And we've got peaceful resolution. Okay. And I really feel like you are going to let this person go in peace. And you know what as well? They re-triggered your spiritual gift, you know? So maybe in a sense, we're going to say, you know what? I'm grateful to you. Thank you. And goodbye. Okay? Thank you. Because you reminded me how powerful I am. Okay? But, you know... The devil cannot conquer me, all right? You can't hold a good woman down, okay? All right, um, I wanna read you guys something. Let's give you one of these, part two. We have self-sufficiency. By finding material security without being materialistic, I will gain satisfaction, stability, and inner strength. I am resourceful. I put in the effort to be responsible for supplying fundamental needs in my life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. I take responsibility for where I find myself in life as I move forward. I get in touch with and trust my innate wisdom, which tells me that I will be provided with all I need. That's beautiful, okay? So don't fear, the spirit guys got you, all right? I hope you enjoyed that reading, part two. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now we're gonna move on to part three, your next seven days. Ooh, let's take a look. We got Aqua, experience, peace, and calm. Mm, isn't that lovely? Yeah, I know. Maybe you ain't had a lot of that lately. Maybe things have been a bit chaotic, okay? Maybe you've been supporting some people's lives. Maybe you've just got some drama going on in your own. Uh, and we've got take time to breathe out. Yeah. You know, maybe guys, you need a spa day. Look, there's a pool there, a little holiday. Maybe just a spa day. All right, or you just need to spend some time by the water. Okay, I definitely sense there's, you know, I feel like there's a bit of anger and rage okay, that you've had to go through lately, you know, something you've been holding on to, or something you're currently still in, right? So the next seven days, they're saying, no, take time to breathe out, relax, go have a massage if you can. All right, pile three, your next seven days. Yeah, we've got rain. So they need you to be around water, okay? You're going through a cleansing or you have been. All right, you might have even been crying quite a lot lately. Yeah, look, we've got life, breathe. Take some deep breaths. Maybe see if you can get into some meditation. Maybe go for some yoga. Mm. Wow, we got storm. This is a lot of this. <laughs> Guys, and cleansing. So yeah, I think, you know, there's a situation where you've had to kind of be there. You've had to stand in it, feel it, go through it, all right? And you haven't been able to sort of run through this one. You know, you've had to 
stand there and face this situation and it's probably just really broken your heart and broken you down a lot okay i'm sensing maybe there's even some betrayal behind this as well so yeah and maybe you know you've maybe you're coming to terms with cleansing a lot of things and people out of your life this year and maybe everything's just hit you right now you know and you've probably got so much on your plate on your shoulders as it is all right but there's definitely some things here that are just being released see look look at her womb that's where she's holding everything right now but it's okay you've been going through a process and this might have been over the last couple of months a few months even maybe even longer right but guys i want you to know that you are getting to a better place mm. The deck that I want is right in front of me. Well, this is hard for you, pile three. You know, we also had those double eclipses as well. Some of you I'm hearing as well need to go on some type of detox too, whatever that means for you, whatever your poison is. Yeah, we got focus. And we got high priestess of fire. We've got Aries Leo Sag energy here. And we've got invisible and summoning. Yeah, so I, I definitely feel like you guys are summoning back this strength. Okay, wh 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 who am I? Where do I belong? You know, you're asking yourself a lot of these questions over the next seven days, okay? Because you're starting to feel a bit invisible, like life is passing you by and you're on the outside looking in. Maybe things are happening for other people, their life you feel is moving forward and you kind of feel like you're always staying stuck, all right? And they feel like you're just kind of focusing on that negative. And they almost want you to summon up your future, make plans, you know, what have you said you wanted by two years time, a year's time, six months, whatever it is. You know, you've, you've just kind of lost your way a little bit. So I think you're going to be taking some time to yourself, even if it's just for a day. All right, get your notebook, get a special book that's just for you and start writing, you know, your feelings. And also, what do you want? Because maybe you don't even really know, you know, and this time away, spend some time by water, really going to help you, they're saying. You need to step away from life for a minute and it's okay to do that. Yeah, we've got the hangman. All right. You're not stuck. OK, and I, I think that's kind of how you're seeing yourself right now, that you're stuck. Your hands are tired, your feet are tired. You know, I can't move. There's nothing I can do about it. This is the situation I'm in, you know, but they need you to kind of free your mindset as well. Yeah. Four of Cups. This is also about how you're choosing to look at yourself, your situation and your future. If you're even considering your future right now. Yeah, Eight of Swords. But I feel like, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, this is more of an energy of you kind of wanting to keep yourself stuck because it feels familiar to you, you know? This is all you know. It's, this has been like this for a while now. How can I just release myself from this? We all have something inside us that we want to do, all right? Even if... We feel like we've got so many excuses as to why we can't do it, or we got kids, or da 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 da. Most of the time, it's just you having to get over yourself, all right? And that is it's a bit of tough love here, but you know, this is what you need right now. You are coming out of it, okay? And we've got this Lord energy here, you know? And I feel like this is that gravity pull, this masculine here. It's almost like you're allowing him to decide your future if you're happy or not, if, he, if, if you're with him or not, if he comes back to you or not, you know, he is not the deciding factor of your future, okay? Only you can determine, you know, the life that you're really gonna have at the end of the day. You are the high priestess, you're extremely spiritual and intuitive being, okay? So everything I'm saying to you, you know, you already know. All right, but they just, they really need you to Remove yourself from this energy. You are keeping yourself here. Yeah, we got this Knight of Wands energy, you know, so this is just someone else or maybe even the same person, okay, who's just in and out, coming in for a good time when they feel like it or they need it or they feel like you're getting away from them, okay? 
got this Four of Wands energy, Six of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're almost at home waiting for this person, preparing for this person. Okay, waiting to, you know, for them to come and give you that time and so that you can also give it back to them and they're just not been doing that, right? So here, be careful that you're not overindulging, okay, when you're feeling slightly depressed about this situation. This person does watch you, okay? They're also not doing too well themselves, all right? They just try to block you out, that's all. But you guys do have this Two of Cups connection with them, all right? But there's a lot of pride involved on both ends, okay? So we've got Leo energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Sagittarius, Pisces. Oh, yeah, there was Aries there as well, wasn't there? Okay, what else do we have for you? Let's see. All right, your next seven days. Pile three. Yeah. <laughs> I think some of you really are going to be tapping into that spiritual side of yourself again. You know, your higher self, your intuitive self. Just reconnect, you know. Maybe you felt it really intensify after the last eclipse that we had as well. Yeah, so it's, oof, stabbed in the back. All right? You've been stabbed in the back by this person. Heartbreak, pain, all of that. You know, and you, you just kind of can't really get over this person. Yeah, they make you feel like you're not enough. You're just frustrated. But they are self-absorbed, okay? They're narcissistic. And you just need to kind of heal your heart, all right? And realize that if you're making space for this person here, okay, you can never have that committed relationship that you always dream of, right? But we've got endings bring new beginnings. And I definitely feel like there's someone here in the next seven days that's actually going to reach out to you and tell you the truth about how they feel. And this isn't that person. This is somebody else. For some of you, you don't... You know them, but maybe you know them for a friendship group, or this is someone that you've been with in the past, but they've never told you how they feel, and then all of a sudden, here they come, okay? Um, pile three, I want to read you a message. Uh, let me give you one of these first. So get in the driver's seat, pile three. I'm hearing you're good at a lot of things. You just forgot, okay? You're losing your confidence. That's all right. You've got to rebuild that. You are the queen of wands. It won't take you long. <laughs> We've got there's something better. Yeah. So you're definitely going to be seeing that over the next seven days. You're going to be feeling it. And I definitely feel like you are going to feel really empowered. All right. Still thinking about the message. I'll just give you one of these. Yeah. Give me one of these. Part three. Okay, we've got reward myself. I know that I'm truly worthy and deserve to receive the good things in life and I give myself permission to have them. It is time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I am to, oh sorry, I aim to incorporate and embrace fun and joy in my life. I realize that all work and no play is a recipe for energy flow, disruption and exhaustion. I allow myself to experience and receive more pleasure in my life and I'm flexible and open to change. I am receptive to embracing activities and events that come my way, even those I may have avoided in the past, all right? So this breathe can also be about go out, enjoy yourself, live it up, okay? I love a tequila. <laughs> Join me this weekend, won't you? <laughs> but yeah, seriously, guys, you know, just try and let some lighthearted, fun energy in this weekend, all right? You've been going through a difficult time. Nobody knows, you know, maybe only certain few do. So, you know, just enjoy yourself, spend some time with some good people. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't worry guys, I know everything's gonna be okay. It seems a bit, yeah, it feels like you're stuck, but you're not. And I feel like over the next seven days, there's gonna be a nice shift, okay? But yeah, anyway guys, take care. I love you all so much. See you soon, bye.